Uh, but what we are doing now is launching test cloud robots, which are exclusively available to run test jobs. So what is it? They're available in both flavors, testing for with VMs and testing with serverless ACRs. Um, they're both uh, available to run test jobs, which are test sets or test cases within our test suite, or even automations within non-prod environment. I will swap my slides and uh, swap, swap my screens and we can look at a quick demo. Um, the way you would do it is under your tenant um, with the similar flow of provisioning a VM. Um, you go under machines and add a machine, uh, a cloud robot VM or a serverless VM. We'll do both and I'll start with a cloud robot VM. Um, as the standard flow, you will uh, just name the robot pool and you can choose whether it, it, it is automatic or manual. Um, the test ACRs have an option to do both. For now, we'll go ahead and choose an auto pool. Once you select that, as you will notice, uh, the first selection on the left uh, asks you to select the pool environment. Um, by default, it's production today. And with that, the four sizes available um, have different consumptions of robot units starting at 5,000. Um, the moment you switch that to a test or a non-prod auto pool, you will notice that uh, the dropdown changes from uh, for, for the same sizes, but with different consumption of robot units. Um, with that, we'll select small for this purpose of this demo. You can configure the machine size, could be standard or could be a custom image that you can upload. Uh, confirm the IP address and availability profile of the machine. You can also confirm how many VMs you'd like to commission in this pool because it's an auto pool. You can confirm the number here. Um, and go ahead and click on next and continue the provisioning. Um, if you want to enable the, the maintenance windows or VPN gateways, you can do that. Um, and once you click finish, it asks for a confirmation that you're setting up a test pool consuming 2000 robot units. Confirming that sets up the pool for you. Um, the pool is set up and, and I'll, I'll show you very quickly for serverless flow as well. Um, the good thing with serverless is there isn't an additional step like we saw for uh, ACR VMs. The only thing that changes is a new runtime gets added during the running of job. And we'll see that when we'll um, see the execution of job runs. But on the right, you'll see that the consumption of robot units um, is now clearly dif differentiated between robot units per minute for production jobs and test are used per minute, which is different. So you can set up a template um, and you can run your test cases, test jobs using this template. Um, it's just that it'll, it'll be a new runtime that you'll be able to see now. And let's go ahead and see that. For the purpose of this demo, I have already created a couple of pools and, and within folders, I've ensured that there are like the two machines are added to the specific folder in which I want to run the automations. So we'll go ahead and use that uh, in interest of time. Uh, within within my development folder where I want to run a couple of test cases, I go to testing and at this time I have uploaded a couple of uh, test sets. So this comprise of five test cases each. Um, the test set serverless has five test cases, which uh, which are UI automations, cross-platform automations that we want to test out. And the test set VM has some desktop automation that we want to run test cases on. Um, so we'll just go ahead and just click on execute. The only pop-up that comes is a confirmation action. Um, the way it picks up runtime is by default uh, selecting if the uh, test cases are UI automation, it will select serverless if the template um, is already added and assigned to this folder, else it will select um, ACR VMs. In this case, we uh, because these are desktop automations, they will select VMs and we'll also go ahead and execute the test sets which are for serverless. So we initiate both the executions um, and giving it a couple of minutes, but you'll you'll see both of them running and exe getting executed um, seamlessly. As this happens, I will also go ahead and show if you want to run some automations which are in your non-prod tenant, not necessarily test cases. You can also run some automations through through this particular new runtime. So in the interest of for this demo, um, I'll just run a simple automation log message. Um, and as you try to do that, uh, you will notice that in the runtime type, the dropdown now has um, two additional runtimes. One is the serverless testing and the other is VM testing. Um, 
given that we we think this autom we we want that this automation is being run in a non prod setting we will go ahead and select the cloud vm testing um you can continue to it being an any machine uh, for for this demo we anyways have added just one auto pool uh, to this particular folder and hence that's the only option that we see we can go ahead and start the uh, the automation and it will get picked up um as the machine is ready to do it in the same way you can run this job on a uh, uh serverless testing runtime type as well and once we initiate that the job gets triggered also um as this happens we can confirm in the test cases the execution suite run um the serverless test cases have passed that ran on the serverless test runtime um and the vm um auto vm that we set for test cases is is run as we speak it's wrapped up in a few seconds from now um okay so this is done as you can see this test is passed as well both of these were run on the test uh, acrs for serverless and vm um and we can also confirm that these two jobs have successfully passed as well